first of all, I, I wanted to, to say something about Archaeological Service Agency. That is the first and only public institution in Albania charged to exercise its authority on the rescue and prevention archaeology. Its activity is uh, supported and uh, coordinated by the Albanian legislation according to the cultural heritage. Uh, it was created at, uh, in uh, 2008 as a necessity to the major development uh, in the increase of Albania. Archaeological Service Agency, as a key management of the system, has a very important mission in its work. Its functional activity is subject to further studies and consultation for institutions and specialists who are connected directly with uh, in the field of cultural heritage, development projects, investors and stakeholders. Studies and archaeological discoveries in, in years in Albania have uh, classi classified the territory in archaeological parks. In archaeological parks, in uh, archaeological areas A and B, and uh, uh, territories mainly rural that are uh, archaeologically unexplored, in which development projects may be permitted, carrying out earlier the archaeological survey, according to criteria established by the state authority in order to obtain the necessary information. <coughs> all re the, all uh, requests for development projects, research projects, casual finds, requirement for, for licenses are checked by agency and uh, forwarded to undertake the decision in the National Council of Archaeology according to the relevant issues. Archaeological processes can be performed by licensed entities in the field of archaeology or specialized state institutions, but on the basis or of two and three party agreement which defines their obligations and where one of the parties is always specialized state authority. Until today, the Archaeological Service Agency has fulfilled almost all archaeological processes, such as archaeological verification on the territory, archaeological survey for different development projects, archaeological pits as a result of the recommendations of the Archaeological Survey and the decision of National Council of Archaeology, archaeological <coughs> rescue excavation when archaeological pits have identified archaeological objects or structures, documentation of the material, archaeological finds or structures derived from the rescue excavations, supervision of archaeological <coughs> processes carried out by private entities licensed by the National Council of Archaeology, participation in the inter-institutional working group for drafting the archaeological and protected areas, and exhibition of uh, archaeological finds. Uh, after for all objects after performing all recovery processes. And so uh, this, uh, the results of this uh, process and complex, uh, this complex process is first preservation, protection and promotion of archaeological heritage to the developments in the territory and second, obtaining accurate data from archaeological processes 
in order to update and reach the unexplored archaeological areas. Agency's activity for uh, 2008 until 2015 and the information <coughs> obtained from archaeological activities such as archaeological survey, pits, rescue excavation, and archaeological supervision are preserved <coughs> in archive of uh, agencies in hard copy file and in agencies' annual reports. And for, for this agency, as the state authority is in the role of uh, managing this very complex process. In December of 2015, agency implemented the WebGIS application based on the open source platform, which will be used to record digitally <coughs> the agency's activity. It is open for public and also serves the data using public WMS to all the stakeholders. WebGIS platform enables, first, expectations about uh, development projects uh, will be more clear, for example, if the trace of uh, the project is located uh, near the potential archaeological areas, Second, information obtained from archaeological processes, from supervision of them, and during the implementation phase of construction projects, as well as data from scientific archaeological projects, will be integrated into a database which will be accessible to stakeholders in order to be useful. Third, sets a balance between the important development in the territory and the cultural heritage, uh, heritage in general in Albania. This platform will be the basis of the archaeological map of Albania, which will directly serve to the cultural heritage preservation and <coughs> protection. The main objective of agency was to create a digital archive by digitizing all geospatial information associated with institutions' activity. Also, the creation of a GIS system based on web, which will enable registration, management, and updating of geospatial information in order to maintain the protection of heritage and informing stakeholders on the existing archaeological field data. So, uh, through this platform, you can record development projects, supervision of implementation projects and archaeological processes, casual finds, and scientific projects. It allows obtaining detailed information for each feature record. It combines <coughs> it combines all the uh, geographical layers administered by agency with other information related to the protection of cultural heritage. It has all the functions of research, editing functions, <coughs> consulting functions related to technical and legal documentation of project, as well as photo of archaeological processes. Project info, information survey, attribute information. <coughs> Agency, as a specialized state authority, manages the progress of development projects. Therefore, WebGIS platform enables management of all processes and documents for part of, of, of a project.
from the archaeological point of view, for example, documents and archaeological activities, survey, excavation, its supervision. The platform enables the recording of general data for a project, registration new projects, research existing projects, and editing attributes. It allows the attachment <coughs> of technical and legal documentation associated with the project, as well as attachment management, for example, revision <coughs> and download documentation. It allows the attachment of technical and, uh, excuse me, uh, enables management of all tracts of observations related with the selected projects, it can be registered more than an observation track for a project. It provides the required functions for managing the existing tracks as well as the addition of new ones. It records personalized data for each observation track location, if there are finds, as well as defines the surveillance status for any archaeological survey conducted of a project, enabling tracking of monitoring status for any development projects or archaeological processes. <coughs> for each of the observation tracks, it is possible to attach documents, photos, which are consultable through information functions. enables recording of positions for each archaeological processes together with their attributes associated with specific prep where they are performed. Offers the possibility of uploading <coughs> attachment such as documents and photos to each of the archaeological processes. The application enables consulting of all documents and photos attached to each of the project's features, project related to general documentation, survey tracks related to documentation and photos, documents and photos related to each piece within a track to any excavation rescue. Each web GIS user can consult documents and photos without the need for credentials. The platform enables consultation of all documents, photos for each project feature, feature as well as its attribute. Clicking on Documents shows a list of selected features related to document and photos. In this case, related to a specific survey tract. The right side, the right side of each document directory is the function to open or download them. This image shows an example document and this, the other, shows an example document map for zoning layer. <coughs> Besides, the data layers with features are created and managed, and managed by agency the WebGIS application integrates other data layers which updates automatically by the institutions that hold the service. In this figure, this image specif uh, specifically indicated the integration of cultural monuments and uh, a map showing conducted archaeological survey areas and cultural monuments. The integration of cultural monuments layer on the same platform is very important because it <coughs> gives complete information on the territory of challenge in relation to the cultural monument. The second shows the integration with topographic maps and orthophotos used as a base <coughs> layer on which record or consult feature related to archaeological activity. 
and third shows the integration with property ownership uh, information and infrastructure elements that deliver accurate information for each object <coughs> in the area about the location providing interaction and coordinating of information between all the state's institution. On the other hand, uh, web uh, GIS allows the agencies, applicants, and also any other user to draw features using functions provides without the need for credential. In this image, the platform enables to draw features in WebGIS, for example, drawing threads and or archaeological pits through the use of these maps as a reference and through the GPS measured coordinate input. It enables to import objects stored to the user's computer in shapefile format allows modification of the <coughs> features built, etc. In the second, the application enables to download features drawn by users in shapefile format with the standard coordinate system on the user's computer. This file is the one who submitted to agency and were are already inserted in the futures projects part of the archaeological activity, tracts, archaeological pit, excavation, etc. In this image, WebGIS application enables PDF map creation by combination of uh, layer with uh, appropriate user information and with standards defined by agency. This image shows the options that has each user to create the map in PDF. And the other, the map is stored and can be printed automatically, taking the established standards. The WebGIS applications uh, enables uh, predefined query functionalities the user has the option to search for threads where there are archaeological finds or excavation <coughs> or archaeological pits or certain status monitoring. It is possible also to search by describing, for example, enough to type uh, something like, uh, for example, uh, H, A, C or construction. The user can be searched the required information by satisfying one of the queries or combine several of them. For example, find feature uh, which are the, which they are finds and archaeological feeds. It's also possible to export the list of objects found in the personal computer in a spreadsheet format. Web WebGIS uh, application offers the possibility to set up custom queries such as find where attributes field, city, for example, Tirana, or year, for example, 2010, etc. The functions uh, window combines attributes, custom query functions with special query functions. It is possible to combine attribute query with one of the tools of special query. Uh, search results displays a list of all objects fulfilling <coughs> the requirement of search. This was the first phase of uh, application of uh, WebGIS application because in the second phase of the project, Archaeological Service will expand the existing WebGIS system with uh, other functionality that will change the working methodology for recording their activity on the territory. Uh, such approach uh, will enable each stakeholder is responsible for recording <coughs> digitalization of their scope of work and in this way agency will perform the functions of control data. Stakeholders will not need to use complicated program desktop to record objects. This process will be made using the new functions of agency WebGIS. Digitalization of features through WebGIS from stakeholders will ensure that the information displayed in the application will be always updated in real time. 
uh, there will be no <coughs> delays and non uh, synchronis synchronization of documentation control procedure. Each user will be responsible for information entered by himself until this information passes to the responsibility of agency. It will accelerate the communication of features documentation towards agency. Digital, digitalization of the feature will be followed by attachment of required documentation. Agency will be able to examine in real time the feature and relevant <coughs> documentation, accelerating, accelerating and facilitating all control procedure. Thank, Thank you. you for your attention. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for